Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. And I am wishing you a prosperous, blessed New Year 2021. Children, as you all know, we are studying writings and we have discussed lots of writings. And uh, as you all know, we have finished, we have completed few steps of essay writings. And today we are topic same. Today we are going to study about essay writing and we are going to solve some or we are uh, going to learn how to write essay in a proper way. So children, let's start. Children, as we have discussed essay writing steps of and process of essay writing, as we have uh, discuss two steps we have already discussed today and today we are going to continue the same topic and we are going to revise what we have studied in our earlier videos. Now first thing that we have already done in our previous video that is the paragraphs. How to uh, start your uh, essay? First you should give an introduction uh, which topic you are going to choose that introduction you should give in that and after that the main body of the essay and the third part or third is the very important part of essay writing that is conclusion. In conclusion you should uh, summarize all the things uh, whatever you have written in the main body. So children these three, three parts are very important for any essay writing. So children now today we are going to continue and we are going to revise what are the style of essay writing first of all. Now we should know that is the style be direct. Style of essay writing first is be direct that is very important and the second thing is be simple. Be simple as we have already uh, discuss this is a logical sequence that is also very important for you. So the style of essay writing that is be direct. Whatever topic we have opted that we should start our introduction of essay writing in a direct manner. Okay children and now after when you are continuing, you are starting in the introduction that time if suppose I have, um, I choose one topic that is a, a picnic of my school that we should start, we should give a introduction, an introduction about what is picnic. So after that, we will continue in the same introduction we should give that that day we have decided to move that that place. So that is very important. So we should direct in introduction and after that be simple in your body. Don't use any literal uh, language. We should write in a very simple way essays. Now logical sequences. If we are giving some proofs or some uh, data, so we should be very, um, the data or whatever the things we are supposed to give in the essay, that should be in a very proper way. Or you can say it should be logically correct. So otherwise you should not attempt any type of the um, data or anything else. If you are very much assured about that is what you are giving in this essay that you should first you should assure about that then you will write the things. So logical sequence is required whenever you are writing an essay. So children uh, the style of essay writing is very simple, be simple, be direct and logical sequence must be there. So these are the styles of essay writing. Now children we are going to uh, continue the same topic the process of essay writing. First two topic we have already discussed. So what 
were the first two topics that we are going to revise. First of all, the writings, the process of essay writing. The first is, uh, first is choose the topic that interests you. Choose the topic. First is, choose the topic interest you. It means whatever topic you are going to choose, you should have an interest in that. Otherwise, you will not able to continue your paragraphs, your essay uh, in a proper way. So you should show your interest in that topic. Suppose if any topic which is uh, uh, which will give you, uh, I'll give you in the exams. So exams, maybe some topics are not very favorable for you, but you have to make and you have to use your language to elaborate the topic. So this is very important that choose the topic interest to which you are having interest, which you are having a lot of things to write in it, that topic you should choose. And the second thing which is very important that is the second step. This is step number one. Now step two, step two is uh, generate ideas by asking, generate ideas by asking Why, what, when, these are the questions you should ask yourself. Then you should write a beautiful essay in a beautiful way. Ask some question yourself that why this topic is related to me and how it is related. The how is missing. Now I am going to write how. How this topic is related to me? How to uh, convey my thought to the readers? So, and when? When this incident, suppose if we are writing an essay on uh, school picnic, so when it was happened? So, that we should know and we should relate with that topic because you have already experienced this. So, that is why you should relate yourself and then you should write a proper essay. Now children, we are moving to the step number three. First, we have discussed that choose the topic interest you in which you are having interest. You just choose that topic. And after that, we are moving to the second generate ideas by asking yourself when, how, where, why. These are the question you should ask yourself. Then you should write a proper and proper essay on the given topic. Now, the step number three, which is also very important for you, that is uh, select relevant points from the ideas that you had earlier written down. Select, select relevant ideas. It means Whatever you are writing in the topic, in the body or in, in an introduction, you just select relevant ideas. You are having a lot of ideas, of course, because you are the student of English literature. So you are having a lot of innovative ideas, but you have to select, you have to choose. That which type of the ideas you are going to generate, you are going to write in your essay writing. So children, this is very important for you that how to write your ideas in a simple language and how to connect to the readers. Otherwise, if you are writing in a very um, improper way, so readers will not able to connect with you. So this is very important. You should connect with the readers, those who are going to read your essay. 
that is very important for you so children select relevant ideas that had already written earlier that you have already written earlier and now you have to rearrange your ideas whatever you have written the earlier in your rough copy or anywhere that uh, and after that you should arrange it in a proper way so had written earlier now you should arrange your ideas in a sequence in a sequence so when you will write your ideas in a sequence that your uh, essay will become very very attractive in a way and the, when the reader will read your essay he or she will always inspire so you will inspire your readers that is very important children so whatever ideas are coming in your mind when you will see the topic the ideas automatically will come in your mind how to uh, connect your thoughts with that topic so you just write it down in a very uh, in a rough copy and then whenever your ideas will uh, come in your mind you should write down first and then when you will going to you will be going to write your essay then you just rearrange in a sequence so what we should write in the first you should put over there and then the maybe for example maybe some few ideas you have written in your rough copy maybe 10 or 12 ideas you have written already written so how to your 10th number idea will relate the to the topic so that you will just put at the first because this is your 10th ideas but it is totally uh, relate to the topic so you should rearrange all the thoughts whatever you have uh, already written in your diary or in your rough copy you should before writing in the fair work or you can say the fair copy you should write it in a sequence wise so this is your third step now we are moving to the fourth step children so third step this is very important first step as we have discussed choose the topic which in, uh, which you are having a uh, interest in that topic and second is uh, generate ideas by asking yourself why where how these are the question you should ask yourself and after that that ideas you have already um, done or already written in your rough copy that you have to sequence it or re uh, arrange it properly so then you will write a proper essay in a proper way children now we are moving to the fourth step now fourth step which is very important for you when essay is written read it thoroughly otherwise your spelling mistakes your error will be caught by the readers so always remember when ever the essay is written by you so you should go through this otherwise when you will write in a fair copy or in a in a fair way or finally you just completed your essay you just go through it now the fourth step which is very important then uh, after the essay is written after the essay is written after the essay is written read it read it thoroughly read it thoroughly and correct the errors and correct the 
errors and correct there it's spelling as well as grammatical spellings as well as grammatical grammatical errors if it is found so your marks will be cut so children be very particular whenever you are writing an essay because because your writing is going to reveal your errors so children writing is very important for you as you all know whenever you are writing uh, um, formal letter informal letter we should be very particular about that and whenever you are writing an essay here you have already done lots of sentences lots of uh, thoughts you have already written in the body of the letter uh, essay so this is very important step 4 is very important for you that after the essay is written read it thoroughly before going to submit read it thoroughly and correct the errors whatever the errors are there you will find you just correct it otherwise if it will be submit so it is out of your way and out of your hand and teacher will deduct your marks if the teacher will find some errors of spellings and grammatical mistakes so your marks will be deducted so children be very particular whenever you are writing an essay essay we are thinking that it is very simple to write an essay what is difficult but children in that essay i or uh, like uh, like uh, me many teachers will find many mistakes so children whenever you are writing an essay you should be very particular we should be very um, cautious about your spellings and your grammatical mistakes so grammar whenever you are writing an essay your writing the way of writing should be correct otherwise if you are writing in a very uh, simple way or very very simple way or you are writing in a very general way so the reader and the teacher is not giving i will not give any interest to read your essay so children be very particular when you are you are writing you should show your interest in that and after that you should write some ideas about that or uh, then you will arrange these ideas in a sequence and whatever the data you are giving in your essay that should be logically correct otherwise i um, it's my suggestion you should not give any type of the ideas or any type of the data which is not correct logically correct so you should not so you must not i will say you must not so don't attempt this type of the um, irrelevant ideas in your essay always your ideas your thoughts your thinking should relevant to the topic don't write anything else in your essay we should be very particular about the topic whatever the topic is given to you you should be very particular about your topic otherwise there is no way to write an essay an essay become very boring for you a teacher will not pay any interest in that and she will give you very less marks so always be very particular whenever you are writing essay when you have already done your essay you should go through it you should read it again and again and then submit it and your writing should be grammatically correct and spellings go through it so children these are the four steps that we should always remember whenever you are writing an essay now children we are moving to practice how to start an essay and how to write in body of essay and uh, how to conclude this 
So children, let's start. Our topic is that uh, any topic you can um, choose from your book or from any book that it influence on internet on children. Influence of internet on children. So children as we have already knew this that this year we have done lot of learnings, lot of teachings through internet and this internet very very helpful for us also because of without that we were not able to continue our studies. So children and this year also maybe um, as the governments will give orders we will follow that. So children in this time in this year we will also our studies our study materials will be also based on the internet. So our topic is influence of internet on children. So this is very relevant topic very uh, you can say very common topic because uh, this influence in our minds in our hearts and in our of course our children also. So children let's start writing this essay. Now I am going to erase this and after that we will start. Influence Influence of internet of internet on children so this is our topic now first of all we should know what is internet so internet as you all know these are the facilities which is provided by the scientist and this is one uh, invention of scientists and it is very very helpful for uh, you just uh, convey your thoughts, your uh, feelings, your uh, official letters, whatever you want to see, whatever you want to ask to the Google or any um, thing, you can ask. So children, you will, you will uh, always the internet is ready to give you all queries, all answers, whatever you are. Suppose, supposed to ask. So children this is very helpful for us. Now we are going to write the introduction part introduction of this topic. Now whatever we have studied that we should always keep in our mind influence of internet on children. Now introduction we are going to write that in today's world today's world the use of internet the use of internet has become indispensable has become in from indispensable from school children to professionals now here children i must say that without internet we are not supposed to conduct these online classes we are not supposed to conduct any test without internet children we should aware all the net facilities because this is the major, this played major role in education field. As we have already experienced lots of things which we have already discussed, we have learned a lot because of this internet. Teachers are improving themselves because of the internet. Children are much aware without 
this net connectivity it is not possible children this is very important in today's world the use of internet has become indispensable it's absolutely necessary indispensable means absolutely necessary without this we cannot survive in this world because this is the pandemic time and it is quite difficult for us to connect to convey our thoughts and our feelings this is really really amazing blessings from the science children with the help of internet we can do wonders we can connect worldwide because of this children this is a very very good topic you can write more and more how many write lines if you want to write you can write on this children these two lines are expressing a lot that is why i have given two lines in the introduction part because these two lines will give you the whole matter and the reader can easily comprehends or understand that what you are going to convey in the body of the essay children so this is very important part and introduction is very important part of any essay so now we are moving to the next line so children please pay attention over here everyone turns to the internet for information social networking or entertainment so children this is very very important for us now this internet facility is become essential for us without that we cannot do anything if it is not available we will not connect with you so this is very important for us nowadays so children you should write many things in that but in introduction you should give in a very concise way because this is very important you are giving an introduction about the influence of internet on children so children very relevant topic very uh, current topic in on that topic you can write many paragraphs because you have already experienced about that and i have already experienced many teachers have experienced our school have lots of experience about the internet facilities because of this we have done lots of things and we have done wonderful work it's really really i will really appreciate so on this topic you can write now children we are moving to the main body of the essay now how to write now here you can write the growing influence of in internet especially on school children have both present positive and negative aspects now we just continue the same uh, introduction so the growing influence of internet the growing influence influence of internet of internet for information for information sorry this not be mentioned over there uh, internet especially 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 on a school children
on school children has both positive and ne negative aspects has both positive and negative aspects yes of course because in introduction you have already given the positive and negative aspects that the reader will able to understand that what the topic what the things you are going to elaborate in the body of the essay so children as we have experienced this topic we can write many more paragraphs on that topic so children this is your homework to continue this write the main body of the uh, topic and complete it this is your homework so children we will meet again in our next video class so bye bye and take care